What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Son of Attack once again, and today I'm excited to bring you the hash rate review for the NVIDIA RTX A2000 series GPU. And basically, once again, like the A4000, I have not purchased this card. I am going to be looking at purchasing some. You'll see why here in a little bit. But it is borrowed from Pro Direct Mining, which I will have links to down in the description below. We went and did a tour of their facility to make sure that, of course, they existed and they did what they said they did, which includes selling of GPU mining hardware, ASIC mining hardware, all the equipment you need surrounding that, as well as, of course, the mining hosting which all in all wraps around to about eight cents a kilowatt hour. This video is not sponsored by them, even though we will have a sponsorship spot for this video. I wanna make it clear that ProDirect Mining has not paid me for any of this. I just got a couple GPUs to test for the channel and that's how we're working it out. We'll get into the details right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Welcome back. So as always, I like to cover the specifications first. Let's pop right into it. And here you go. You have essentially two different variants of this GPU. You have a six gigabyte of GDDR6 and a 12 gigabyte version as well. This does mean we do have the six gigabyte version and it won't mine the Octopus algorithm due to, of course, the memory requirements for it. That being said, it's a 192-bit bus, and that will be a total memory bandwidth of 288 gigabytes per second. This is error-correcting code memory, so ECC, just like the A4000. It has 3,328 CUDA cores, 104 tensor cores, 26 ray tracing cores, and a ton of performance stuff. Now. The display connectors are all mini display port. There are four of them, but this is a half height card. It will have a full height bracket in the box if you want to put it into a normal sized application, whether that's going to be a, an open air rig frame and so on. The power consumption is 70 watts on the total board power. And we'll talk about what it shows at the wall in this particular case. And it doesn't require an additional six pin PCI Express power adapter. That does mean that it is great for building mining rigs with. However, you want to pay attention to the fact that it will pull a lot of power through the riser or your PCI slot. So make sure if you are using risers to use a six pin power adapter for that riser. Don't be using your SATA or Molex adapters for those because it won't carry enough power once this card really starts cranking to remain reliable. So let's go ahead and get into the hash rates themselves. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here and we're going to talk about it. For Ethereum, as always, starting off with Ethereum, we have 43 mega hash a second at 85 watts from the wall. Once again, our power consumption numbers come from a gold rated power supply that is completely powering the GPU and nothing else. I do this by jumping the 24 pin using a PCI riser that goes from a to the power supply and then that makes sure that we are recording directly from the wall. Power efficiency means that this is more like a home mining setup with a gold rated power efficiency on a 120 volt circuit and not on a 240. You can get better power consumption numbers moving to 240 as well as moving to platinum rated power supplies, but this is the best or worst case scenario essentially for power. 
in the software, we usually see across all of the algorithms here around 60 to 65 watts. And pretty much across the board, we have 85 watts on all these algorithms. Moving on, we have Kryptonite GPU, which we tested at 1361 hash a second at 85 watts. On Cortex, we got 3.7 hash a second at 85 watts. On Auto Lycos, which would be Ergo, we got 107 mega hash a second at 85 watts. So really good performance there. On Zelhas, which would be Flux, we got 25 solutions a second at 85 watts. On Ravencoin with the Kapow algorithm, we got 14.8 mega hash a second at 85 watts. And on Firo Proof of Work, which is, of course, the Firo coin, we got 14.27 mega hash a second at 85 watts. I did test the core intensive algorithms, uh, Al. Alephium, or ALF for short, which got 784 mega hash a second at 85 watts. And then we checked out the TON mining capabilities and solo, it was at 1.5 giga hash a second at 85 watts. So that's going to wrap up the mining numbers and power consumption for the NVIDIA RTX A2000. Let's take a look at what to mine and what the profitability looks like. Keeping in mind, of course, mileage may vary based on your power cost, your geographical location, etc., along with market changes that always happen. So you can always come back to this video, grab the numbers, plug them into what to mine and get the most updated information for it. But for today, pulling up what to mine, we essentially see that Cortex is actually winning today on March 1st, 2022 on the A2000 at $1.59 a day after power. Ethereum coming in second at $1.53 a day after power. ETHO coming in third at $1.02 a day after power. Ergo coming in fourth at 93 cents a day after power. Ethereum Classic coming in fifth at 92 cents a day after power. We have to scroll down quite a bit to, before we really get to the other ones that people talk about. Conceal, for example, 66 cents a day after power. Ravencoin, 61 cents a day after power. Firo, 60 cents a day after power. And Zellhash, a disappointing 53 cents a day after power currently. So once again, if we are looking at the A series for NVIDIA, we have some oddities here as far as the algorithms that require some sort of core performance. And that's because these are data center GPUs and that's really not what they're aimed at. The A2000 does make up for this with ease of use and power to hash rate ratios across the memory intensive algorithms. And I find it to be a really good option for maybe moving to something like Ergo afterwards or even Ethereum Classic. While on the A4000, we had a ton of heat issues. On the A2000, these his heat issues are alleviated by basically a smaller PCB with a better cooling solution across the board for it. So if I'm taking a look at building a mining rig right now, this is a very enticing card, especially at that 43 mega hash a second at 85 watts and is one that I am definitely looking at picking up and doing a rig build with. Let me know if you're interested in that rig build for a video in the comment section below. End of story, this is one that I am interested in building a rig with. The A4000's not as much interested in because I feel like there's too many heat issues and there's not as much viability post ETH on it. Should you purchase these over other RTX options? Well, maybe not. We also even have the light hash rate unlock on the horizon after the hack from NVIDIA, and that may change things on the RTX 3000 series, and we'll have to see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when we have more content. Lots more content coming to the channel and I'm working tirelessly to provide it uh, as quickly as possible. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more, or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.